you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. Say it with me. It's Friday, baby. Friday. We got <laughs> Friday night catch chat with Mr. Stan in the house. Man, I'm so excited about it being Friday. I don't know what I could say or do <laughs> to make it any better than being Friday. I guess it's a working man thing. You know, you busting your rear end. You busting your rear end from Monday to to get to Friday. That's but right. That's right. And That's tomorrow, right. Made it. Guess what I get to do tomorrow? Hmm. Could it be something about what the show's about? Fishing, man. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome, dude. There I haven't been go. fishing in a while. You know, you know, it just, I don't know. I don't like the freezing cold. I just don't. Well, you know why that is, don't you? I, I mean, I've got plenty. I've got more clothes and gear than you can shake a stick at. But, you know, you yeah, get well, out. Oh, geez, Sean White got us a two, well, two in here. We'll get to you in just a second. Boom, boom, bam. Yeah, that's because, you know, as you get older, you don't like that cold weather. You're an old man no. now. We're we're old men, <laughs> I, and I just had another birthday go by. That's right, and happy birthday! Uh, yeah, well, that was a while. What a week ago? We're, I think we're almost caught up with Lyle now. <laughs> I don't know about that. Dude. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> well, you know, twenty-eight awesome people out there already, JG. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I have 28 people hanging out with us and letting us in their living rooms. That's awesome. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd let me in my living room, in your living room, but that's just me. <laughs> hey, if Stan comes over to your house, remember one thing. Don't feed the wild animals. That's right. That's right. Have at least four burgers. <laughs> have at least four cheeseburgers ready. To the put them away. Just saying. <laughs> Well, let's say we do a, how about we do the roll call, roll call, and then we'll get back to the boom, boom, bam. There we go. Yeah, man. Go we ahead and see who all we got in the house. This thing, chat's moving pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like when chat's moving. Uh, let's see. We got, we got, it started out with Uncle Jeep. I think Sampy was in there a long time ago, but Uncle Jeep's out there. Lynn, Catfish Fever and Outdoor, two, two, two. Let's go. There's Dustin out there. Let's do this thing. Fine. Crappy day, Fish on. How's it going? How's it going? Of course, you know Joshua Param's going to make it to the show. Always great to see Joshua. Uh, there's Bugman, 22. Bugman said, dang, now there's a Friday intro. <laughs> Friday, Friday, Friday. You know what I'm going to say. There, there it is. There's catch fish with us, the first, the, the first uh, live fishing tournament league, Catfish Uno. They won the first tournament, tournament number two happening tomorrow. Hey, so hey, see. Look, look what they won it with. I know channel, channel cats. cats, channel cats, channel cats. That's right. Something's wrong. <laughs> cats and dogs living together, solar eclipses. You know. Yeah, and, and channel cats winning in a blue. But congratulations it, it, to them. You know, that, absolutely. that's awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, uh, there's Sampy out there. Night bot again. Crap the dead fish on Don Johnson. Lance, my cool guy. My good friend Lance out there. Dustin saying hello to everybody. Hey, Dustin. You know, I think uh, I think everybody's got Jeep's number. They just flashed up some bacon and they know that uh Jeep will pay attention. Even Nightbot's caught on to that. Uh oh. That night bot's working hard. Uh, Rowdy Royals out there. 32 awesome people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Goober Time Guide Service. Talking with Dan a little earlier today. Oh, you got to love Dan. <laughs> our river's been, our river's been uh, all messed up, but hopefully it's straightening back out. I hope, I hope. I got to find the light. Be right here. All right, all right. Big Slim 91. Great to see you, Big Slim. <laughs> Dan 3 is out there. Well, that's right. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge of it. Don Johnson, great to see you. 
Who said, who said that? Who said that? Uh, Bugman. About the whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge of it. That's right. That's right. Woo! Wow. Catfish and Ed J is out there. How's it going? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully the, uh, you know, it was just, it was a, uh, it was a great tournament. And, you know, the Uno wheel, uh, did it play a little bit of a factor in the, in the results? Maybe. But the people that caught the most fish were the ones that were in it at the end. It was that simple. And well, you know, it's, um, you know, if you're catching fish, then the wheel's spinning. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that, I mean, I never really thought about all the analytics of it, but it's, it was a fun thing, you know, it was a fun thing to, to watch and, uh, yeah, yeah. It was a lot like a game show, you know, I mean, really, I got to admit it went off a lot better than I thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. I thought, Oh, I don't know. You know, I, I, but it went so well that we did it on stand day the very next day again. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, uh, Rowdy, Rowdy Royal Buckeye catfishing. Before we get too far behind, Bugman Lance, Butterflies and Sunshine is out there. How you doing, Butterflies and Sunshine? No, of course, not working for me on my own show, right? Hey, it's not going to be long before the, um, uh, they're going to be able to go fishing up there. Butterflies. That's right. That's right. A fish on Ed Evans run a test. Saw him run a test. He's getting geared up. I know he is getting fired up. We got uh, Dave G. Hey, there's my good friend, Small Water Charters in the house. Good hey, to see you. John, how are you? Good to see you in there, out there, buddy. John and Lydia have been helping me with a couple things. So have big shout out. Big shout out to them. Uh, we're almost caught up. Jimmy James, how's it going? Crappy dip fish on Gene Tillman. Hopefully Gene is fishing this weekend. Hope he's doing better. Uh, Dustin Bugman Catfish. Fever and Outdoors win is there. We're all caught up. 41 awesome people out there. And how about we go back to that boom, boom, bam. Hey, did you find it? Let's see. It's, it's here somewhere. It's here in here somewhere. It's way up there, isn't it? Maybe I can find it easier than you can, Stan. Well, of course, my... Uh... Let me see if I can find it. I'm trying to scroll up there and... I, I can, I've got a mouse. I can just go right on up there. And my phone's taken off because, you know, of course, the FOA Pro Staff is in there having a whole conversation on a Friday night at 8 o'clock. What What's the up what? with that? I don't know. But we got OG Sean White here with the 222, man. That's right. You that's just right. can't beat that. Here we go. Heck yeah, dude. Appreciate you, appreciate you. That's like OG uh, Sean White and and you know what? That OG Sean White, that dude's on fire. Wow. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kid. That's right. That's right. I'm a trained professional. Yes, <laughs> it's just Uncle. It's just Uncle Stan. Okay. <laughs> He's the dude that makes the really big pancakes. That's right. How'd you know mm -hmm. about that? Really big pancakes. And you know, John pancakes would be good, man. You know, my wife puts like a just a little bit of vanilla extract in the batter. There you go. Oh, man. what you talking about, Cletus? <laughs> And Shad Daddy's out there. We still got people coming yeah. in. 40, 43 awesome people. John Cyclone watching us over on Facebook. Giving us a thumbs up over there. Thank you, thank hey, John, you. Hey, John's a hard working man. Absolutely, absolutely. River well, can Tackle. You know, you're in the tackle business. It's a non-ending, you know, trying to get a hold of, uh, uh, you can always get a hold of them, though. That's for sure. All get a hold of them, but always doing something. Yeah, I was on the phone. He had called me the other night to let me know something, and I think it was like nine, ten o'clock at night. Somebody showed up at his door. <laughs> I 
They need, they need some tackle, man. Going fishing. That's right. That's right. Need to tackle. Need the good stuff. But uh, so tonight, we're just going to talk a little bit. Well, obviously, we're going to talk about the uh, tournament coming up tomorrow. Live yeah. fishing tournament league. Num- tournament number two. It is the fish a And I'm wearing my Operation Vets with Nets hat. It was Stan, Stan won that, too, by catching fish. That's right. That's right. Yeah. They didn't just send it to him. He won. No. It. We won the... Uh, Come on. What's this? Muskrat. It was Come a on. Muskrat Adventures, the turn, the uh, Veterans Tournament. Uh, we won that. And the uh, Mad Cats Patriot Rod. That's right. Put that in your pipe. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow's... Uh, the tournament is uh, the Fishathon, and it's a benefit tournament to raise money for a veterans charity, and uh, that is on boy. Fields to Water, Palmetto Cats, and Brian B. Catfishing. Yeah, and it's the winner's choice of uh, which chair they're going to donate the money to. And I That's think last correct. night on the bait shop, they already had it up to 180 bucks, maybe something so like that. Yep, we've been right along. Yep, so should be some more pretty good more pretty 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 more better donations coming in tomorrow. More better. <laughs> you got uh Fields to Water in here with the eyeballs. Good to glad to see you out there watching Chad. I don't know if you're on the water tonight. I wasn't sure when you were going back home. I knew you had been in hanging out at the dock area, the famous dock this week on vacation. Everybody needs a vacation. Absolutely. You know what they say about you know what you know what they say about retirement, Stan? What's that? It, it's hard to get any days off. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to get any days off when you're retired. But uh, I saw Bugman there. This is an Operation Vets with Nets hat. Uh, and they they have a website. Uh, you know, Operation Vets with Nets, it's all about getting vets back out on the water fishing. If you know a vet that, that wants a fishing trip, needs a fishing trip, we all need to get back out there. Uh, it's Operation Vets with Nets.com. Catfishing Ed J is in here. He may be able to. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. I it may be. It may be a dot com. Oh, he already answered him. Okay, good. Uh, that would be a dot org. Org. Okay. I knew I, I was yeah, hoping. I'm, let me switch it over here. You, you know, cut me. Uh, I'll cut full screen here for a second. I get it. Yeah, so this is operationsvetswithnets.org, O-R-G. So you can uh, go in here and <clears throat> um, pull up fishermen in your area, and they have, you know, people like me or Stan, or there's there's several people out there, especially uh, uh, Roger um, Muskrat yeah. Adventures. I think Creole's on there. Yep, uh, Roger in Ohio, Creole, yeah, Louisiana. Think, uh, trophy Seeker, um, uh, Trophy Seeker Outdoors, Daryl, I may be one. But anyway, yep. you just go in there and look around, and then uh, you guys can uh, can uh, get up with these guys, and they'll take you fishing for a day. There you go. So Hope I'm not better. Yeah, so that would that's awesome. So I just want to share that with you. And if I would have been on my game today, it's been a rough week. If I've been on my game today, I would have had that link already. But uh, Chad or D or anybody's more than willing to drop that uh, link if they would like. Oh, I can, I can stick it in there. There we go, trying to hit buttons again. Shirley T's out there. How you doing, Shirley T? So, anyways, you, that tournament is tomorrow. Are I you believe fat it's fingering stuff. What's that? I said, are you fat fingering the phone stuff? Yeah, again? My, my wife calls them snossages, but uh. <laughs> oh lord, 
Yeah, I tell you. off my four cheeseburgers with his snossage. <laughs> Get away from my burger, boy. Rob Fox, all right, all right. Said I'll be back, back. I'll be back, folks. Mama said time for dinner. Well, I'm Heck round yeah, two. Man. <laughs> well, you know what Mama calls it? Time for dinner. It's time to go eat. Cause there ain't nothing like cooking all day for your family or cooking even for an hour and a half or whatever. And you laid out there for it for them. And it's all nice and hot and warm and. You know that's the time to eat it and then that's right you wait around for 45 minutes and then all of a sudden it's cold and then whoever cooked it's mad at you well because then you know you try to time it out so everything's done hot and fresh at the same time you know there's an art to that stan there certainly is you know what i'm saying i mean you know you got to get the main course ready and then the vegetables and then your bread or whatever you're going to have and then make sure your tea and all that stuff is you know the ice is not all melted down everywhere. We got a big timing thing. We got team snagging D whiskers Dustin in here, member for nine months. Hey, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, thank you, Dustin. Absolutely, Dustin. Appreciate it, brother. Rock, rocking your world one cowbell at a time. He's on fire too. Whoa. I'm worried about Stan. <laughs> I I haven't had any. Well, just no, besides no that issues, one, no just issues. Just the one. Other than that, I'm all right. All right. What's that? When that one where they do like this? What's that one? This one. Yeah. See, it's old man, old man magic right there. That's right. That's right. Oh. And you pull the quarter from behind the ear. I can do that. Oh one too, yeah, that, one. that one's a good one. I wonder if uh, Austin knows about that. <laughs> well, do do the Amish even have quarters? I think I'm they do, right? Sure. They they sell stuff, so they got it. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah, I think that team Amish thing was crazy. That uh, people were going. Are they? I didn't know the Amish had phones. <laughs> yeah, <I guess> so. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we joked around about that so much, right? Like I, I told you, my mother even was like. Uh, yeah, yeah, she she thought something was there too. Huh? I, I didn't know if he was Amish or Pennsylvania Dutch. <laughs> oh, I think they're not quite as devout as the Amish, so they're allowed a little. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh man! So uh, um, we've got we got a lot of people in chat, man. Forty-seven people out here, and it's rolling by. I really appreciate everybody coming in, hanging out with Stan. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, I know, yes. I, know I know they didn't show up to see me. No. <laughs> what the what? What the what? Wait a minute, I got one of them buttons too. What the what? <laughs> That's a heck of a comment there, 922. Like <laughs> 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 there you go, there you go. You know, that explains it. A lot of tree pollen, you know. Man's got to pick his nose every once in a while. How did that get... Who keeps doing... I catch bigger fish than Grandpa. Who keeps putting that on the screen? Mm -hmm. I don't know how that thing keeps getting up there. You know, you got other people in control of your show now, Stan. Creepers. Creepers. You need, you need to sign... You need to sign... I have a contract. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. You have to start... Uh, there's limits. Some man. Buttons. There's limits, man. We got Eddie G out there. Good to see you, Eddie. Shirley oh, T. Yeah. Shirley T. Good to see. You. Good to see you. I hope you guys are doing well. So speaking of the tournament tomorrow, like I said, that's going to be on. It's nine to three. Going to be on. Yeah, uh, and you know what Chad put in the description, and I had to make a phone call today about. What's that? Chad puts in the description of the of the. Uh, term it says nine to two. Oh. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out so and then in the show last night they were confusing me with all that well I need to get in there about 8 30 and then we'll start about two minutes till and then sometimes I always start early and then I don't you know I was all like whatever. And then yeah. and then it was like oh I think I'm gonna go to three and I'm like so I had some stuff going on tomorrow night or tomorrow evening, and I, you know, I was trying to decide when I was going to come off the water, but 
We're fixing to three. We're fixing to three, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a whole bunch of controversy going on with that yesterday, and they were just having six hours of what normal bait shop stuff. But you know, that's the one thing with the live with the with the live fishing tournament league is trying to keep everything about the same. Trying to keep it balanced out, so some of the other ones are six hour tournaments, so they they kept the all tried to keep all of them with the six hours. That's a long. I want to tell you something. Host you a six hour tournament and let me know how it works out for you. (laughs) <laughs> i'm not complaining it's fun guys but you know six <laughs> hours is a long time you know to watch fishing you know but i mean you can come and go go eat you some popcorn or go mow the right. Crack, right. come back and check on us later and hopefully 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 there's some fish being caught yeah. that does that does help out of course, those they're caught, you know, like three, four at a time, and you're trying to get it on the score sheet and get oh, the person really on not. full screen. And <laughs> hey, and then what do you need to come back. Yeah, after you come back from cutting grass, you come back and roast the host. That's right. Roast That's right. Cat. Give the host a hard time. That's right. That's what it's you all about. Give him on his toes. Tell him he's not doing it right. Dustin said, you would think this was a Brian B. tournament. He's the one that likes to make all kinds of changes before, during, and after the tournaments. Oh, yeah. It happened. I will be on Brian B.'s channel tomorrow. Well, there you go. Uh, uh, Stand 3, I think it's going to be on Palmetto's channel. That's right. That's right. And you know, I do not have pre- privileges to, the, to this score sheet to bring up the the uh anglers uh do you have that stan i didn't get it this time either oh you've been kicked out of the club man i'm not the cool kid i'm not one of the cool kids <laughs> i can we can't be one of the cool kids like <laughs> play reindeer games with them when they're bringing up all this fun stuff there on the bait shop doesn't he have like eight eight slots you know where you can bring up <laughs> Uh, I'm I just think kidding. what it was is Chad been doing a lot of driving and a lot of eating Michelle's food. I'm gonna have to do a. Uh, what was it with the the cupcakes? It was Boston cream cupcakes. Yeah, and he didn't show those right, Stan. Do you see where no. he just like peeled that back and then went rah, 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 like the cookie you know, monster on? Uh, Michelle spent all that time it. on that. It it should have been one of these. You yeah. hold it up. Look at how smooth and creamy this chocolate is. Can't you yeah. just smell the fresh cocoa beans wasting off of it? That's and right. Pop yeah. it open and look at that banana. Look at that uh, Boston cream filling. Mm-hmm. And then you pull it apart like and look at look at that. Just amazing. Yeah. Flip it over. Oh, let's right. take a bite. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that cake is that cupcake is so moist. Look at that. No crumble. See, that's how you. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Lord help you, Chad's All I can tell you. <laughs> and you know, hey, you make sure you got to get a manicure too for the commercial. You know, before you that's get right. that's that right. the close ups and all that stuff. That's right. But anyway, oh, there's uh, there's my my good brother Sean T. Outdoors is there. Sean T in the house. Good to see you, Sean. <laughs> That's right. Good. A six hour tournament ain't nothing. We do them 40 something hour tournaments. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like the regional OG, huh? That's right. He's been out there. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be making a 40 hour tournament. <laughs> What's up, Mike? <laughs> young whippersnappers can have it. So, um, I see fish and fever in here. What was the baby's name? Summer, I, I came up with River Charlie. Close. River Charles. Huh? River Charles something. Tommy. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Thomas. Thomas. Short. River, River Charles, Charles Thomas, Thomas Short. Short. That's Where right. What do call him? And well, when he, you know, like when he, we were talking about last night on uh, Dustin's show on Snagging Night Live, that yeah. once he goes to school, you know how you got to put your on tests and stuff like that, you put your last name first. So yeah. he's going to be Short River. Oh, we're going with the Short River. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I saw you guys up last night on um, Team Snag and Whiskers, Dustin's show, Dustin well, and Sean's show, and you guys look like a bowling team. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's going right, to be a strike right. Right, right there. That's right. <laughs> You got the technique down. Good follow through. Good follow through. Good form. I think I've got a video of um, Dustin bowling. Yeah, we. I think we do. And that guy right there. I bet you he's got sixteen pound balls. Hey, oh, better leave him alone. Bowling, bowling, bowling <laughs> better, balls. Better, better leave him alone. Sixteen pounds. Did but you all ever do that as a kid? Call what? the bowling alley. <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. Oh, really? Yeah. That's Who right. We had the, the telegraph back then. We had we had what thing called pagers. <laughs> Come on, nobody well, remembers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Stan, it mean to interrupt you. That uh, comic dude, uh, the phone prankster, is Worldwide Willie. Worldwide Willie. Have you ever heard of Worldwide Willie? I don't think probably, but I, the the name hasn't struck me yet. You got to you got to check out anybody. Y'all go Google when you when you get through watching Stan, go Google Worldwide Willie. He is a phone prankster. Calls up people and <laughs> pranks them. It's hilarious. <laughs> T said we have a. Oh, excuse me, I lost my breath there for a second. It says uh, we have a Chadwick James, <laughs> we <need> a Austin Stanley. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I see Jody's. Uh, we'll talk about that here for a few minutes. We oh, got yeah. the uh, immediately following us nine o'clock pontoon Jody's flathead challenge. I'm not sure if. Uh, Dustin is normally hosting that. Hey, Jimmy James, Bailey, Buck Williams is out there. Great to see you, Buck. If you haven't checked out Buck uh, Williams on Facebook, he does some awful funny stuff over there. Make sure you check out Buck Williams. Uh, there's Freddie, FOA Customs and Gear. That's right. Hey, we, were, we were all wearing our matching FOA bowling shirts last night. Yeah, it's definitely a good bowling team. Listening while I work. There you go. That's a two stands fishing family member, FOA Freddy there with the Mountain Dew. Oh, that's That's right. I like it when people use the. I like it when people use the. Uh, the, the member emojis. I got to work on them. I got to put some new ones out there. We're a bigger channel now. I can add some. You're a bigger channel. <laughs> That's right. We're over a whole 5,000. You're kicking it, man. <coughs> kicking it. Still can't breathe. I need I need one of those buttons. You know what? Benoit is out there. What's up, Benoit? Butterflies and sunshine. Hey, Buck Benoit. Williams. Those Benoit. ladies are there catching channel cats, too. That's right. Hey, They're channel out. cats are nothing to sneeze at. No, sir. And you know, you catch a 24, 25 pound channel cat, he'd stretch your string. That's right. You catch a 10 pound channel cat and they start stretching your string. Hey, alone. Sam, my, my PB channel cat is 18 pounds. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's for sure. And I caught it when I was like 13. And you've got me beat on that. I've caught a bunch of them in the mid teens, mid teens. 14, 16, 15. Hey, Stan, your wife's got you beat on a uh, flathead, too. I just thought I'd remind you. What? Oh, I hit the wrong. That's how bad I am at this. I went to kick JG, and I kicked myself. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You got to love him. He's harmless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I hear yeah, that yeah, all the yeah. time. Uh-huh. You better get that all fishing, the time. boy. You better get, get back to fishing, boy. <laughs> Oh, she's got the bigger flathead than me. Oh, it's coming. What is it, 38? <laughs> uh, I don't even remember. It was in the 30s. 37. 37? Well, I was close. Somewhere in there, yep. What'd she say? We don't get, we don't get too exact with uh, 
she was like 39 in the net. So you take out a couple, okay. you know, because, you know, those uh, those fish, I'm kind of like, uh, OK, that's a 40 pound. That's a 40 class fish. That's a 50 right. class. You know, if it's in the upper 40s, that's 50 pounds. If it's, you know, yeah. lower 40s, 40 pound fish. And but yeah, he weighed it and it was almost, it was almost 40. It was 39. And then you take away the couple pounds for the net. So 37 ish. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. So she's kicking your butt. Yeah, yeah. She's mine's in the twenties on flathead. Oh, okay. You know what? I have caught flatheads, but I have no idea what my PB is. I don't no. have a clue. I mean, I've caught them, um, but it it was a uh, a long time ago. I mean, probably five or six years ago. But I don't remember. You know, I wasn't weighing them. I was just catching them. Absolutely. It's about this big. Hey, Stan, it was about this big. It was that big. You know, I no, caught this one remember, time. You remember, you remember the, that's the fish story. Mm -hmm. So when you, hold your, when you hold your thumb, like, against your finger like this, and then you stretch it out. So the fish is actually this long. Uh, you, <laughs> you stretch it, it out. This you, big. It was about this big right here. Oh, yeah, well, I was fish. I was flathead fishing one time, and I'm trying to get. I can't get it long enough here. You can't. But I was. I, I caught that flathead, and I had to be at least that far off of shore when I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you gotta be. You gotta be thinking when you're hanging out with Stan. I'm That's just right. telling you. You, know, you never know what's going. He's going to say. Uh, let's see. I saw uh, 922 saying, can't even launch the boat. Ramps are closed and flooded. It's flooded. Well, I tell you what, there's a lot of wind around the country. You know, so you, uh, you know, uh, so be sure to check out Pontoon Duty tonight at 9 o'clock. Not sure if Dustin, Dustin's in chat. I don't know. Dustin, you're going to be hosting over there tonight or not. Don't know. Um, What's up, Doug? But. Um, you guys be sure and check out Pontoon Jody. I think Sam well, made set this stream up to shift you over there when we're done. I did, I did, and it is now the point I wanted to bring up is it is now the flathead challenge. It's uh, you know, during the winter time, the colder weather, the colder water, flathead aren't biting. So uh just it it's just uh kind of fishing with friends together out there in the winter time, but then in the springtime again, opens it back up as the flathead challenge. I'm not sure who's fishing tonight. Mm -hmm. Dustin so said he catch, will be there. So when you catch a flathead, if it's four pounds, they double the weight. So you and get eight, eight eight points, man. There you go. There you go. And then, you know, channel cats, blue cats, stuff like that, a regular weight. But Dustin does a good job over there. Jody's always busy fishing and carrying on. Absolutely. With her 30 rods out. Giggling. <laughs> that bit oh, like. I almost had it down, but my throat is too. My throat is sore tonight. Throat, my throat's a little dry tonight. We gotta get uh, Dustin a. Um, you know, Dustin has a uh, Excel spreadsheet. He was putting some stuff on last week, I think. Yeah, it's it's the way to do it. It's uh. And you know, if you know how to do them, and it's not that bad, not big, that big of a deal to make it. And then you just kind of uh, all the little stuff, all the little making sure the boxes are even, and all the formulas match and go to where they're supposed to go. And oh man, I hate to hear that, Roger. You said he had to cancel his operations vets for next trip on Sunday. Wow. And the rivers, I guess the rivers too high. I don't know what all was going on, but I know the Miss Danny said something about the Mississippi was like the the uh, rainforest going down through there. So I imagine it's up on a lot of debris. So yeah. we got people fishing from all over the place uh, tomorrow on these three channels with this uh, fish a thon. And biggest three fish wins. As much as I love to see everybody out there, uh, safety first, know your limitations. If you're a, a newer boater, uh, a newer boater especially because you know you haven't dealt with some of those conditions and the more experience you get the better you are to able to handle them but even the most experienced 
they call accidents accidents for a reason <laughs> yeah and, uh, uh, i had a i had a comment to that but i'm not going to say anything uh, wind meter. Uh, got you okay you got control go ahead oh no wind meter on porch is 12 miles per hour max of 22 reset to 8 a.m Threw the Excel spreadsheet together real quickly. It worked great. There you go. Yeah, man. It's, it's just, a big help, man. Let's ask chat. How chat? Do you prefer having, uh, especially when you've got multiple anglers, do you like having like uh, where we can share the spreadsheet, so the score sheet up there uh, so y'all can read it? And do you like that better than, uh, you know, we, we did the old fashioned uh, <laughs> thing for so long. But what do you think? Do y'all? Is it a difference? Is it is it not a difference? Do you like this the uh, spreadsheet up on the screen better? Hey Stan, don't you have one of them tablets? You have one handy. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, let me see. You I don't have just, you don't have to get it out. If you had it handy, I was going. I was just writing somewhere. Yeah, I got. Well, I got one close. I've I've uh yeah, I've sharpened here. up. Yeah, so let me show you. Here's how Stan does it. You ready? You ready? <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. There we yeah. go. So there that's we go. how we used to keep scores. So do you like this? Do you like the spreadsheets or the stone tablet? Yeah, Dustin caught a two pounder, is what that was saying. It's yeah. <laughs> took, him a, took him a minute to get it in there, but he got it in there. <laughs> Definitely. You got to wear, you gotta wear safety glasses when you're doing all that. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Wolf's Den come in here. Good to see you. Hey, there's your wife. She said hey to Danny Stone. That's right. She she likes Danny Stone. She likes uh, DSO. Can't blame her. She likes Daryl, too. Yeah, well, yeah, we got to draw a line somewhere. I got to question her. I question her on that one, but. Wow, Benoit Fishing saying there's 50 mile an hour winds in Ohio and it won't stop raining. That's not much of a fishing day. No, especially with small boats. And the, you know where, where people get in trouble with that, JG, is when that wind, especially in a river or even on the lakes where it's an open lake and that starts white capping and you get those small boats, you only got. You know, there's only this much space between the water and the the top mm -hmm. of the boat, and those white caps start coming in, and yeah, it's don't like, take uh, much. Yeah, those um, um, you know, even you know, in the rivers too, that's even worse. You know, if you have all that current, you know, washing under the boat and doing all this stuff, you got to be careful out there, man. Know where. Know your waters. Know what you're doing. And I'll tell you this, too, and I'm going to throw this out there. If you've never been on a river that, or going to a place that you've never been to before, um, you know, please get in the boat with somebody who knows the water and show you around a little bit, and then you can go. You get yep. yourself in a lot of trouble out there. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, thank you, Ed, and everybody that commented on that. I agree. It's worth the, I think it's worth the extra work to get it together, and then it's uh, it's pretty easy to keep track of after that. Thank you, Ed. You win the, you win the, you win a, a stand jig for answering our question. <laughs> yeah. You are a winner. Heck yeah, man. Bring the bell. Rock the house. <laughs> I can rock your world with a bell. <laughs> rock your world with a bell, man. Uh, be still <laughs> I ain't seen the sun in three damn days. I love uh, that song. That's a great song. I'll put your picture away. Yeah. That's Sing a great it, song. Man. I, that's a great song, not a great rendition of it, but a great yeah, song. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> you know, you and Danny can start a band together. <laughs> I do better with uh, me. What was that comment? Did you see that comment that Danny put up there? 
Yeah, this one. I have a 12 foot John boat on the bottom of the Mississippi, Mississippi that Cole's telling you about white caps. There you go. What's that word, Stan? I know you know what he's trying to say. That could tell you about white caps. There you go. Stan's really good at reading words that aren't there. Are typing. He's really <laughs> well, good. that's because that's how I write. <laughs> and sometimes he rearranges your sentences for you, too, while he's reading them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. But, man, that's that's the truth, Danny. I mean, you know, it's, it's a really good point. You know, you just be careful. You know? These kayak guys out there fishing in these in these high, you know these big currents and you know catching these big catfish and stuff i mean i know they've been doing that a long time but it's still i i'd still rather have my butt in a big old boat <laughs> i just would you know oh yeah well you know they've uh the boats the kayaks themselves have gotten a lot better than what they were just a oh yeah man. absolutely i you know what though i mean i've I've been on like those little paddle board things and <laughs> what, are, what, are those, what are those things called that you actually sit down on your knees and <clears throat> then it's got to, I don't know. If, I guess it's oh, called a knee board. Huh? Huh? The knee board where you're towed no, behind yeah, the boat. No, I'm talking about the, the kayak looking things that have the little mesh that comes up around your waist and you just kneel down in it. And then oh, yeah, yeah. What is that called? Yeah. I think it's just a kayak, but. White water kayak. Probably a style for it. Yeah, yeah. Nightbox working it. Yeah, been one fishing out there said that uh yeah, they were unfortunately they're off the water with this wind, but better safe than sorry. Working in absolutely up to get the upgrade on the on the water soon. Absolutely, you know, it's uh I'm really glad to see these comments in here. You know, our catfish family is is some some smart cats, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I've been known to be not as smart sometimes. And uh, well, but, you know, and it comes when it comes tournament time, turn, tournament, <laughs> tournament, Tur turn, dang it. Tournament. Now you got me. <laughs> turn, anyway, when it comes like to turn, turn a kit, it's not, it's not turn up greens, it's tournament. Anyway, you know, and you feel like you got to go out there and fish, but you know, you show up to the lake. I mean, tomorrow I got to show up to the lake and I've got 13 mile an hour winds and it's going to change three directions tomorrow. So I have to make a decision when I get there, but I think I'm going to be okay. I looked at the water and I'm going to fish and I figured out where I was going to fish and the direction of the wind. And I'm going to have, you know, some good coverage from trees and stuff like that on the wind side and I think I will be able to fish and have fun. You know, the main thing I'm going to have fun cause that's what it's all about. Have fun. Stan turned into a Mountain Dew. Hey, we had Josh Thompson in the house. Good to see you, Josh. Uh oh, let me see what we got here. Cat fishing a Jenkins in the house. Somebody stole my Mountain Dew. Somebody stole my Mountain Dew, man. No, it it was like he thought I was talking about a paddle board. This kayak that I'm talking about is you actually sit down on your knees and there's like this big rubber. I don't know. It's like people ride the rapids with. It's not a kayak. It's, I don't know what it's called. I have to look at it. Yeah. When I'm getting it's old, called, man, I can't remember stuff, man. You know, it is what it is. That's right. It's called dangerous. That's what it's called because you're going down the category five rapids with this mesh thing strapped all around you and you get tipped over mm -hmm. and back around. And... Dip, uh, dip. Let's see. I don't, I don't drink the yellow Mountain Dew. That's a good idea. Josh is yeah. fishing that. I, I told him I would bring it up for all the bank anglers out there. Uh, if you're looking to do a fun tournament uh, where you, you put a, got a little skin in the game, I think it's $25. They do it every month. Terry Rose, the bank fishing tournament. Yeah. Uh, it's on this weekend right now. So it's too and late. That's this on week. the Facebook? Yes, that's the one that's on Facebook. Cool. 
I keep uh, saying I'm going to do it. One of these months I am. And uh, it's 25 bucks to get in it. And it's the biggest fish in each category. So there's a uh, yeah. big channel cat, big flathead, big That's blue cat. Nice. And then a winner for the kids division. And something the kids, I think all the kids get something, but I'm not sure on that one. But there's a kids division. Shelby yeah. has won it a couple times. So cool. it's something fun to do. And it's 25 bucks to enter. So yeah. not bad. Not a bad entry fee. And it'd be a lot of fun. It, I tell you, when you do the tournament, it's one thing go, going out fishing. It's another thing going out fishing. You know, you're fishing live and doing, a, you know, things like this. And then it's something else when you put a little money into it and you got a chance to win some other things. It's a whole another thing, too. It's fun. Yeah. And so it's worth it to try it. If you haven't done it before, see if you like it. And that's a, that's why I said 25 bucks is a good price to do that and see if you oh. like it. See if you have fun with it. But I'm going to go in there and show everybody how to catch some fish on the bank one of these months. You know, I, I've done a little bank fishing myself. I've caught you some know, nice fish. You, we talked about you doing that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, y'all put it in the chat if y'all want to see Stan fish from the bank one more time or three. Mm. This is a, uh, I tell you what, we need to get, can we do thumbs up for yeah or thumbs down for no? I'm saying you said what? In the comment. We going who wants to see Stan who said what bank Yep, there's a kids division for it. Yeah. Ed Evans is on it. He is the he is going to be That's right. I, when Ed right watches tonight. When Ed watches your show, he watches your show. I I got to you know, I really like Ed. Uh met him a few times and fished with him like i still can't thank him enough for how he helped us out and uh you know he he does when he watches your show he watches your show that's uh that's that's what you want there we go there's crap day thumbs up all right all right i don't I know what roger was talking about here so you say kids catfish <laughs> roger royal thank you thank you yeah Stuart, the fish whispers in here from across the big pond 61 awesome people watching tonight. Yeah, I'm so, so that is awesome, dude. I may do one of the bank got, fishing ones. Do we have uh, two on Facebook? Is that what I'm seeing? We got 61. Yep, yep. Two over on Facebook. Facebook. Okay. And uh, John Cyclone was one of them, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh oh. Josh Thompson said that uh, Sierra and uh, Shelby got sick. Oh, no. Two. Oh, oh man, ain't that ain't no fun when the kids are sick. And before I forget, I know it's been. I saw. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was just thinking of this the other day. I have not forgot about the uh, the the jump in the water. I have pretty much been sick for a couple weeks now. I would say sick, like uh, oh my gosh, he should be in the hospital sick, but just sick, just you know. Got the throat going, sneezing, all that kind of stuff. So okay. when you get my age, you got to be a little more careful. But that is coming. The jump in the water with the Depends. And I got to get the bonnet from uh, Dustin's wife that was nice. So so graciously knitted me a bonnet for this. Yeah, but that I, is, I did not forget about it. I did, I'm did. i not getting out of it. That is just uh, trying, to, uh, trying to be, you know, we were talking about being smart. <laughs> And uh, and and I've been busy on top of that. So it looks Post to me like it looks like to me like Stan, we're getting a lot of thumbs up here to watch you fish from the bank again one time. I'm too. seeing, I'm seeing it. Well, that's uh maybe, and you know what? If I do it when I do it, I'm gonna pull out some old school tricks and show some people some old school bank fishing tricks for like uh that's how, I caught how to fish on the first couple of chapters. That's right. That's right. How to how to check the depth from the bank and nice how to set a stationary bobber and all oh, a few things a few things you need a production crew that's right that's right i do jeff bill in here you gonna do a belly flop come on jeff <laughs> we want to keep some water in the dang river jeff we don't want to empty the river <laughs> come on man <laughs> oh lordy josh said he's got to get ready for jody's channel 
That's right. right. That's right. I have mine there, Josh. We we may be over there later on. I got stuff to do, so I probably won't be on YouTube too much longer tonight. Uh, but I'm not going right. to it either. Woo! Nine two two throwing shots at Lance. Lance, you're an awesome fisherman. Sorry, just wish you did more catching. Oh. 922 throwing shots. That was that was heavy. That was. That was a pretty good. That was like a Tyson bam. <laughs> Remember that? What was that game I had, Stan? It was the Mike Tyson game with the Nintendo. Uh, uh, Nintendo. Mike Tyson. Knockout, I think. Yeah, that was it. Knockout. Yeah, you remember you had to blow, you had to blow the thing up before you stuck right. it in the box. That's right. Oh yeah. The Tyson match is coming up in uh, the summer, July, I think. What have I been living under a rock? What are you talking about? Tyson's fighting this summer. Is he against uh, Jake Paul? That's true. <laughs> He's too old, man. I I would say the same thing, but the dude's been uh, punch out, punch out, a punch out. <laughs> punch out. Was it punch out? Was the name of it? I thought yeah, it was punch, punch out. out. Punch out. Okay. <laughs> Bugman saying the blowing on the cartridge, nice. Yeah, that's right. You got to get the dust out of it. Oh, Lordy. It's, it looks like we're having a call out here. Jeff Beal said, 922, that's a fish off words, man. That's pretty funny. Oh, gosh. We've got um, Greg, Greg Burgess in the house. Good to see you, Mr. Greg. Absolutely, man. I hope you're doing well. And we talk about us being old. Greg's up here in his seventies. Y'all don't, y'all got to respect Mister Greg. Jeff Bill said, "Note to YouTube: Don't make an event on a Mike Tyson fight night." Yeah, that's probably pretty good advice, isn't it? Danny said that Mike Tyson's in great shape. Go watch the videos they put out. Uh, I'll go check some of those out, Danny. Appreciate it. Lance McCoo and Howdy, Rowdy, Butterflies and Sunshine. Pow Meadow Cats in the house. Good to see you in here, Kevin. That he's driving home. I hope that uh, maybe you've been out catching bait or something. Not out working all day. I thought school teachers got off work at 3.30 anyway most afternoons. Kevin's a, in a different capacity there. He might have to work the 9 to 5. I don't know. But we're fishing tomorrow on... Uh, we've got some you know, some good fishing going on. Uh, three different channels. Brian B., Palmetto Cats, Fields to Water. Uh, I think all the channels are full, so eight or you know eight anglers per channel. I'm gonna do the fishathon. Um, gonna have a PayPal account set up for uh, taking donations. Uh, the winner of the tournament's going to uh, have their choice of veterans charities to donate all the money to. 100% of the money goes to the charity. So we're gonna have some fun tomorrow and fish. Gonna be a lot of good fishermen tomorrow. On those three channels, and those channels will uh, will be uh, doing their best to you know bring up the other channels and all. If you don't want to jump around on channels, whatever, just get on get on you know whoever your favorite channel is, Chad or uh, Fields to Water or Palmetto Cats or over there at Brian B's Cat Fishing and hang out with them and you know, get in, get into chat and hang out, you know. That's why uh, size matters catfish. Good luck tomorrow, JG. Appreciate you in there. Yeah, so some people's talking about that boxing match. Uh, what time is tournament over tomorrow? Uh, Jeff, three o'clock. We're running. We're running from. Uh, he's choking to death, Palmetto. He's uh, 
We had to get him something to drink or something. But uh, he had... Uh, let's see here. It said it'll be on Netflix on that, on that fight. Okay, cool. So, but Jeff, yeah, to answer you, t- the, the, the fishathon term will be over at 3, three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then, uh, hey, you're back, man. I'm back. I'm back. Did you get you something to drink? You passed. Excellent job, JG. Excellent hey, job. Everybody was asking about him. <laughs> I told him, I said, well, it looks like you were. I said, he's choking to death. He went to get something to drink. That's right. Rowdy That's Royals right. asking me, JG, you fishing Wiley? Well, that's the plan for now, Rowdy. I'm on me and my little pontoon boat's gonna go down there and see if we can get away from the pleasure boaters. I'm hoping that the wind and maybe just a little chill in the air in the morning will give me a couple hours of fishing before I get bombarded with people. But you know, we can put that in Tony Harrison's book. I'm telling you, Tony Harrison needs to write the book and get it printed and sell it. Absolutely. What had happened was. <laughs> what had happened was, and the reason I didn't catch fish was. That's right. That's right. These are, these, these are not excuses. These are reasons why. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, we see Palmetto Cats out there. Speaking of Palmetto Cats, one of the channels that you can find tomorrow's fish to stun on. <clears throat> uh, you got Palmetto Cats, Brian B. Catfishing, and it's Chad's Tournament. His uh, his idea. He does a lot of these uh, benefit tournament has for several years. I think he was saying what over twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, over the last four years, I think he's raised up right at almost twelve thousand. What right in? I knew it was somewhere in there, and so you know, yeah. and small... you know, really, I mean, <laughs> it's Chad. How, there, what's yeah. the mark, yeah? That's right. That's right. For 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 a little channel. <laughs> That's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Uh, but hey, so, did you uh, get out fishing and stuff? Uh, released a video. He has a bunch of our uh, catfish family on there today. You see that? I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna have to go check it out. Yeah, man. Freddie was on there. Uh, Chris with hooks and hammocks was on there. I was like, heck yeah. Was it from uh, CatCon or no? Go no. watch the video. Five hacks, man. Five fishing hacks, man. Fishing and stuff. You gotta go check out his channel. If you don't know who fishing and stuff is, go look that channel up. He makes some killer videos. Absolutely. And he's always willing to uh talk to you, give you some pointers with some YouTube questions. And he did a show with Catfish Weekly a while back, uh, talking about that very subject. Yeah, yeah. Younger and to- Oh, there it is. It's nine o'clock. Make sure you uh, if, don't forget Jody's show is on tonight. The Flathead Challenge. Uh, we're going to be wrapping it up here in just a minute, so that uh, JG can get some of his stuff done. Got a busy day tomorrow. I am going to be. Uh, I think I'm finally going to watch a tournament tomorrow. I may even go troll on a few channels with Uncle Jeep. Who knows? Who knows? Ain't nobody troll like Jeep. No, he's got it. Know, he's You're it. pretty good. I've seen nah. you do I've seen you use some good comments. You know, here and there, here and there, but uh Jeep's got it hands down, multiple channels. He's he's in there. He he's got something to say for everybody. So obviously big shout out to Jeep. And Danny Stone in here. Watch the video, Stan. Don't tell nothing, JG. <laughs> wow. Danny, be sure to do that. I can hear Danny's. I can hear Danny's voice saying that and everything. <laughs> Don't tell nothing, JG. <laughs> There's Rob Fox out there. Oh, did you watch? I was watching Danny live last Sunday, man. And he his back was killing him. I mean, he's like ready to fall over and ready to go home. But no, he gets out a fourteen foot rod and starts, um, <laughs> he starts snagging carp out of the lake. I went, that, wow, that, dude. Those dang fourteen. Uh, you I know don't what, know what size of rod it was, but he was he had put on the this big old treble hook and a weight on it, and he was. I mean, the first cast he made like one pull or something like that, and he snagged one of them carp. It's amazing how, awesome. they, how your rods can sit out there that long and they're not getting no bites. You know, speaking of the back and the big pole, 
if you've got a bad back and you're having situations like that where it's you know it's tough to go fishing and uh sometimes that little pole like the foa poles it's it's a, a high quality product but it's shorter so it doesn't you know you're trying to cast that 14 foot pole and uh yeah all that kind of stuff with it that'll get you but that uh that foa the double y rod there so if you've got a bad back try one out just try it it's uh i know i've enjoyed fishing with them because of that and uh no, all right thank you appreciate it yep yep so uh that's right my wife saying go stand three good luck everyone tomorrow yeah i think we're gonna excuse me i think we're gonna see some different results tomorrow we'll see chad, the, you know what chad field said i think the wiener's gonna come on for my channel oh i know he was saying that you know what, chad? i told him i put a t i put a comment in there i said chad's dreaming somebody wake him up <laughs> But he, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, last week when, uh, just to tell you how the the James River, like Stan 3 and I were out there from early in the morning till when did Dust Austin's tournament end? Was it 2 or 3? 2, I think, right? 8 to 2. Well, anyways, <clears throat> for six hours during the day, and even before that to get bait and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we caught one 12-pound blue cat and we had a we had a big one on the line but you know that's neither here nor there and then uh so one fish during the day stand three then went uh dropped me off he went right back out to another spot in the river and fished that all night in that tournament and caught one fish there and then it got to the wheel and i think it skipped him or reversed or something so yeah, yeah. i think it reversed but uh so that was one fish so two fish in like uh 14 hours of fishing on the james you had bobcat and for shizzle out there and i don't think they i'm trying to remember back i don't think they caught a lot i think the only one on the on the tennessee that was even catching fish was jody right and then uh um I was gonna say Parker caught that one big fish. So the the big rivers did not fare very well last week. It was a bad bite in pretty yeah. much all of the big rivers. So Rob Fox is asking where his shirt is. Uh, D Smithy's talking to him. Cool. Get him hooked up. Muskrat. Yeah, uh, he, he was out there with yeah, uh, Musk. He wasn't. He? He said yeah. he caught one fish. One fish, and the wheel took it hooked his way, too. So that's what I'm saying. The wheel, you know, people were worrying about the wheel changing a lot, and right. it really didn't. The people that caught the most fish, they were the ones in the top, and the people that caught the least fish, well, they were towards the bottom. So it, you know, it didn't really. No, in this in this particular tournament, oh, oh. he was right there with stand three. <laughs> so see. you had some of the best anglers out there, and some of the best anglers out there and it was just not you know it's tough bite so it happens that's that's why they call it fishing not catching oh. mac caught some fish and yeah the wheel didn't like him mac had three fish mac had three fish taken away and it might have put him up a couple of standings you know like from uh i don't know where he ended up but like eight up to like six but yeah 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 <laughs> So, um, That's awesome. let me look here. So, Stan, you're going to be hanging out in the chats tomorrow? Yep. Unless, uh, nice. at this point, I'm hanging out in the chats unless there's a need for uh, a substitute fill-in host somewhere on somebody's channel or a guest right, host. Right. Or... Nice. I was looking you know, for that. I was looking for that. Uh, there it is. So I thought maybe that uh, we could uh, run an FOA commercial here for the folks. And since FOA and Freddie and, you know, you guys are let's do it. big pro staff for them. And do you want to end the show with this? or Yeah, let's end the show with it. You want anything? say anything before we get out of here? Oh, no, nah, man. I'm going to be hanging out fishing tomorrow. And, and y'all come by and say hey and roast the host. 
with me and and uh we'll be out here doing some catfishing tomorrow and you know looking forward to uh to uh you know put some fish in the boat so y'all come hang out with us absolutely and uh great gonna be great to see you out there again tomorrow jg and catch fish with us i uh, hope they get to go back out again but uh you know like yeah. i said i know ohio weather not doing not too well up there but uh if you do you do if not there's eight 17 other tournaments plus the finale so i'm sure we'll yeah. see you Absolutely. but uh, with that being said we are going gonna to jump out of here jg's gonna play us out with the foa hope y'all like it go see, see jody's show we're out of here deuce what the heck oh yeah oh yeah Round. oh Get your weight up, baby. FOA, all the way. FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. <laughs>